today see i am back i'm back with another video all right y'all see my outfit for today it just it's a workout clothes just you know just a little onesie and workout clothes just chilling feeling cold around the house you know anyways so we are about to make some mexican cornbread my special recipe my sister begs for this every time every time she tries to come up so she's gonna sit here and make some with me because she needs to learn this recipe because it is super super easy and y'all gonna follow along with me while we make it yes all my stuff is up there because my pantry is literally super super full so yeah uh we're gonna look at that look at that look at that all them canned goods, we are good. I just ordered a lot of those today to prepare to do a lot of cooking videos with you guys. Completely stocked up, completely stocked up. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to show y'all, but it's not the cleanest. I still have to scrub it out, but I did the best I could organize them. Completely filled up. Feel, 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 feel. Look at that. So, yeah. We just got our Amazon order. I was going to do my grocery haul, but it wasn't a real grocery haul. It was just kind of like putting back stuff that I needed and then got the stuff that I need to cook with. So it's fresh and I didn't have to throw it out. So this is what I got. I got the ground beef. Okay, okay, okay. 80% lean, 20% fat. We got the jalapenos. We got the diced bell peppers, the sour cream, Mexican cheese, almond milk, screw that cow's milk. We got our crusties, honey cornbread, the best cornbread. It doesn't matter if it's gluten free or not. I just I accidentally grabbed the wrong kind, but they taste the same. And I'm still going to add some extra honey. And then, yeah, we don't need this. And then we have the pots that we're going to put the in. And of course, we're going to make dessert. What? Yes, so keep up with me and we are gonna put all this together and make a meal hey guys so my sister made it hey, i told you she was yeah. on the way so <laughs> we're gonna that? make her favorite meal yes it's delicious yes so yum, we set yum, out yum. everything y'all know i can't chop so i was waiting on her uh. <laughs> <laughs> we got all that stuff set out look at that she got some work to do Ooh. okay anyways let's get to it let's get to it hand and washing I said hand them wash them. Wash them hands. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. It's right. I just ordered that from Amazon real quick earlier. I already stuff. It's ready. You want the seeds inside? Uh, it's up to you because them going to be hot. I know. I'll save one of them with seeds inside. The rest of them, I'll just, just uh, have them in the garbage. Y'all should see Ooh, my... Chopper. Girl, no. <laughs> I'm a pretender. Hey. Watch a lot of Chopped and what's those other shows? Master Chef, you know? And I like to try to imitate at a slow pace because that's all I can do. Me. I'm going to show y'all these seasonings we're going to use while she chopping. These are going to go in the meat. Yup. Don't that look good? And of course we're gonna top it off with honey at the end, but what? Okay, so we got the cheese, the sour cream for the ending, cheese to layer it, tomatoes to go with the dice. We do all the tri peppers. So the diced peppers and the jalapenos are gonna go in there. So we're gonna mix all those together and toss them in and layer them with the cheese and the meat. So, and so it's gonna tell be so me. Good. What is the inspiration behind you first making this dish? I had some ground beef and I had cornbread and I didn't know what to do with it. And I looked it up. I literally typed in ground beef and cornbread and it was like, make Mexican cornbread. I'm like, okay. So I made it my way though because I didn't have all the ingredients and I hate corn. So I kind of made it work. And, <laughs> and it turned out really, really good. And I added my own little secret ingredient. I'll go ahead and show y'all. I use ground allspice in my Ooh. batter, in my cornbread batter. And I use honey cornbread. So that's my little Ooh. secret versus doing it the regular way. And I don't add mixed vegetables and stuff. I actually add 
fresh diced jalapenos and fresh diced peppers because I don't like the frozen ones in this. It just doesn't taste right. But this is, and I use almond milk, so that's also a different one. And for the taste of Mexican side, I had to use Mexican cheese instead of just regular shredded. I've never even heard American of cheese. honey cornbread. Girl, it's so good, y'all. It's so, so good. Getting these seeds out so we can live. We won't be we know, thirsting die. for water. Woo. Even though my husband, he'll love it. He'll do it. Make mm -hmm. him half sad. Yeah, he keeps seeds all in. He gangster like that. Woo. I got some more because I thought about making some um, verde sauce. But then I realized I forgot the other ingredient to make a verde sauce, which was the green tomatoes. So mm. it's not going to happen yet. I got to order those. These peppers look so fresh, too. They are from Amazon Fresh Market, y'all. Use your EBT cards online. Ah, don't have to go to the store. It's delivered to you within a two-hour bracket. That of your choice, of course. And so, is yeah. there a, a charge? It's a charge if you want to do it within a one-hour bracket. But mm -hmm. I just choose the free two-hour ones, and I just wait all day. And That's then if good. it doesn't have it, I'll cook it the next day and still order it. <laughs> cook That's something good. else. So. So we so make it right. If you don't want to go out to the stores, y'all. They bring it to you. Look it up. So it does comes it come nice packagedly back. sealed. Yes, they seal everything with Good. stickers and stuff, so you know if they opened your bag, took anything out. Y'all know I forgot my biscuits though. I ordered biscuits and then I forgot them. So how did you forget them? Cause I I must have removed them from my cart by accident. Oh. Yeah. So it's okay. It's okay, y'all. All right, so we're going to get to y'all when we get started on this meat. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, because I'm getting these seeds out. The reason why I'm wanting the other the school that I, I chose is because it's online and I can, you know, go at my own pace. Mm. Versus going into a class. You know, I don't mind going into a class, but I don't want to have to start when they want me to start, you know. August is a big month. We have the family reunion, then I gotta go to Kiana, the graduation thing. Oh, yeah, she, that girl got big hit. Huh? She got big fast. You said she got big. Fast, yeah. She mean, growing big? up. Oh. Like in size? No. She's growing um, up. Yeah. Like older, yeah. She's a baby. you need like 250 or 300 all right we got sis over here making the cornbread so we just need that cup of milk don't mind that stuff of milk, an egg, and some vegetable oil, which I gotta go get. So be right back. Ah! 
That much? It's one third. I mean another one. Okay. So let's pour it. So then it is a half. Good mom. I was looking for that line. There we go. Alright. And the Jamaican orange fresh to your liking. I gotta put the eggs and the eggs. Crack them eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one messed up. I was trying to be fancy. She beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Both eggs. You need to add my secret ingredient to it. Tell me when. That's enough, girl. All right. Ooh. That's too much. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Sorry, That's guys. Right. It's okay, it's gonna be pretty brown it's instead of gold, but that's okay. All right, now we're just gonna throw it in the mixer. All right, all right, all right. So there's the cornbread mix. We ended up making two extra boxes because we realized we have to fill this pan and that pan. Yeah, I just threw the butter in there, don't judge. Oh, don't forget my, my dice. All Ooh. this hard work. She diced the mess out of those power pans. Look at them, they look so <laughs> fresh too. And then this is the ground beef. It's all done. I let it burn a little bit. Don't don't judge me, okay? Anyways, so we finna I layer think this. It was good. <laughs> Her. <laughs> so we finna do the layers. So I'm first finna butter these pans, and then we're gonna put down a layer of cornbread first, and then you'll see what we go from there. So this is gonna get me where I can do it. Seizing that in that pan with butter. 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 <laughs> Not butter, butter. Look. And this is butter. <laughs> you don't like being on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a dude. She cutting all around the crevices. You don't want your cornbread to stick because it's gonna Absolutely. be in a minute when you gotta cook everything together. But the best thing is, you don't have to cook it in there too long. You just leave it in there long enough to cook the cornbread because you already cooked everything. And you kind of want your peppers to be fresh, not too soft. Or you could have just used frozen stuff. So keep it fresh. fresh. back in business all right so we're gonna just scoop some up in here and just fill the bottom of the pan oh you were scooping i could have did that it's okay i was she telling her i didn't want to i didn't want to do it on i didn't want to mess up on live tv i told her that <laughs> i did i offered her the option it's okay she could just look back at the video and want to <laughs> I know, right? Give us some. <laughs> All right. Nice keeping pour. I pour it, but it's so much more messy if you pour it. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to layer it to the bottom, even it all out. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. That's going to be a good layer, but this one's going to need like a whole lot. This one gotta feed my whole family. So we gonna make this one work. Okay, look at that beautiful layering. It's okay, it's not that beautiful, but hey, it's, it, anything good is beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna get our meat. I don't know why I just did that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, 
So you're not you're not on that gangster that status like Brume is. He'll just pick it up. I'm like, well, I would, but I don't have a whole hand, so I kind of yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I, I wouldn't try it at all. I do. Not for me. I value oh, my life. Yes, yes. They always hurt each other. Oh yeah, Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it closer so it's easier to do. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit. Mmm. So it's kind of like making the lasagna. Yep. You don't wanna make it too thick because it's gonna be like a lasagna. You're gonna keep making it. Like oh y'all, so, I sneeze. Bless me. Okay, bless you. So that's the layer. We're gonna get. Some pepper. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get some bell peppers. We're funny, we never even opened the tab. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw some mixed peppers in there. See, they use corn and stuff. I don't like corn. We're not doing corn. Yeah, I'm not a corn it fan. It doesn't either. even digest. My son had a question the other day when he had some corn. He was like, Mom. Yeah, my food's still in the toilet. Yeah, I know. It didn't digest. <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave that anyway. So, I'm gonna just open this on my. It's a resellable, but we're not resealing nothing. So, yes. We're gonna Hold it up. The whole thing. Well, you know what? I don't want to bake. Huh? Judge yourself, my hands is wet, okay? Anyway, <laughs> so, we just gonna lay some cheese. Lovely, it's beautiful. And then we're gonna try to make the next layer a little thinner so that way it don't fall out of the, the pan. Right, so let's right, put right. some more cornbread mix in here. Move that over. Okay, this is the hard part. Because you gotta do it over cheap. I'm not gonna do a lot for this layer. Because it's just a middle layer. Low key, I don't. You know what? It's probably gonna be the top. I'm probably just gonna add some more meat. Okay, it's cool with us. Yeah. It still tastes the same. Something like that. We're running out of batter already. But that's cool. We still got it back to work. So let's do our second layer. Mmm, that looks so good. It's delicious. I just hate all the dicing prep. That's why I don't make it so often. And I never have jalapenos in the house. I have pickled jalapenos, but never fresh. So. No pickle. Yeah, it's not not the same at all. Don't do that to yourself. You said it for my good <laughs> We watched that show too much together. <laughs> Okay, cheese layer. I lost the cheese. cheese. <laughs> Found it. Cheese. Right. Cheese. I told you we weren't gonna need this bag again. It's gone. Mm mm mm. Ooh, yeah. Just get that little massage in. Right, spread that cheese, make sure it melts all over the place. And you want to spread it out so that way when you put this next layer of batter on it, don't overflow. And I'm not going to put a lot on it because, again, I don't want it to overflow. Because batter rises. Ooh. If y'all just saw my hand gesture, that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, Y'all can layer it however y'all want. This is just what works for me. I like to layer it in lines. So I feel like I got everything. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna get my spatula and try to spread it around a little bit. Grass is It's not that easy. <laughs> Told y'all this is the hard part. Layering it over the cheese. It's like putting the icing on a cake. Only this cake moves. Moving cake. <laughs> It's like doing nails. You gotta be really gentle with your brush or you're gonna wipe off all your product. That's right. She don't know what I'm talking about. That's I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all should if y'all watch my nail videos. All right, so one down to go. One down. That's all. And then once it cooks most of the way, we're gonna put a little honey on top. Mm, 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 mm. mm. All right, so we're gonna get Hella's put in, and we're gonna work on this other one. We're gonna get y'all some packs in today, so y'all get to see me make both, because usually y'all don't get that treat, but y'all get that treat today. Feel blessed. Okay, meats. I only got one hand, we gotta be smart. I would just, you know, hold it and stuff, but this hand would drop everything. It's useless. Okay. For now. For now. For now. This is the we're gonna give me right though. We know that. Okay. Pop quiz, uh, what's, what's the next ingredient? Don't mind my dog, they rude. What's the next thing I'm putting on this thing? Y'all should know this already. It's a beautiful layered cake. Peppers! 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 Look at that. It's time for the jalapenos that she works so, so hard. So hard. I had to pick those jalapenos myself. All in that, that what would it be in? I grew them for a my field. baby. Huh? Would they be in the field? Mm hmm. Yes, a jalapeno field. She was in it. I made it. And she don't have seeds in here, so it's going to be just flavor. So it's going to be. You did a good job keeping all the seeds out. Oh, thank you, thank you. I just want to first hey, shout I would have shot out. out all it. No, we're not gonna do all that. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we get a whole thing of cheese. I did this one right. Told you. I need the whole layer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how thin it looked now that I spread it out? That's why we use so much cheese. Alright. Time for some battle. Next layer. Oh, my Number three. a whole lot of batter for the middle layer. You just want a little cornbread to crunch on in the middle, that's all. Right, keep that midsection thin. <laughs> yeah, keep it thin. <laughs> this is not the meal to keep it thin, by the way. <laughs> this meal is all carbs and fat. I don't even drain my, my meat juice. I, I actually cook it into the meat again. I let it go right back up in the <laughs> I want all my fat. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not this is a cheat sheet meal if you going for it. It's quite nice and hearty. Kids gonna love it. Everybody in the family will love it. You can add whatever you want to it. It's just Mexican cornbread. So if you like corn, if you like olives, whatever little Mexican ingredients you like, go ahead. She's still in me again. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with her? Delicious. I'm gonna try one. I ain't trying to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very Mexican. -y. Making me crave some nachos. Yeah. Too bad I used all the meat up. <laughs> all good. All right. Let's get back over here. It's the last step. No, we just. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Beautiful. Every time.
time I hit something, they think it's the door. <laughs> Jeez, open the key. Let's hope I open this. I did it! Okay, oh. I really suck at opening a cheese, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, what do we say? We use the whole thing. The whole the whole thing. Just like that. I'm gonna toss this out real quick. Alright. Now let's spread. Spread that beautiful cheese. Spread it. You spread it. First you get the cheese and you, you spread, spread it. it. You, you spread, spread it. it. This is good. We ain't making peanut butter, we're making cornbread. You spread it. You spread it. You spread it, spread it, spread it. So now we're gonna do this, you know, since it's the last layer, we're gonna clean this out because we want all my cornbread back to get. No wasting. Nope. If we got a little more, we're gonna top those off too, so we're gonna see what we can do. Broken hand, y'all. It's very weak, so I'm gonna switch it on y'all. Do this. This is gonna be very awkward, okay? Cause I'm left. I'm not left-handed. But we're gonna make this happen. Let's just pour it first. Like I said, it's not that easy to pour, but we're gonna make it happen. I'm over here making this. How is it floating? How is it floating in the air like that? It's magic. Because I sure can't <laughs> hold it in. I got it, Embry. Okay. Let me hold it. It's some thick batter, okay, guys? Don't you forget the, the extra ingredients. In this. Okay. spreading well I might pull yours out and put a little bit of this in there because I want yours to look so pretty too. You can see it's so pretty though. Look at that. We're just gonna skim a little off the top of mine and clear her little blank spots. She got there. Look how it's cooking guys. And that is how you make cornbread. And we're gonna put it in the oven, uncovered, for as long as you make cornbread. Whatever the box said. I don't know, I just wait till it's brown. <laughs> but, fall box. Yeah, the rest of your stuff is cooked on the inside. Cheese melts really quickly. So, honestly, it is a quick set meal. You see how quick her cornbread is? I almost done. <laughs> I got it now. Almost done. Alright, so now we're just gonna clean up and then you can guys can watch us prep banana pudding. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright y'all, it's time for dessert. We're gonna do banana pudding. So watch as we go. So we're gonna start with the jello. We use regular vanilla. And we gonna, we're gonna pour it all in there. And this is really quick. It like honestly the longest this takes is cutting the banana and decorating the place. Okay. 
Okay, now I know they are vanilla, but I'm extra, so I add more vanilla. Okay. So we have vanilla. No, I can't tell you a spoonful. Again, I do not measure nothing. I don't know what that means. Ooh, that's strong. Oh yeah, it's gonna be strong. Ooh. I ain't a bit of can help. Okay, and then all you need is three cups of milk per box. So I only got two cupper, so we're gonna we're gonna two cup and two cup it. Okay, because that's still six. So, I'm going to do three full things of this. One. Two. Got to buy more milk already. Three. I'll add that to my tomorrow's order. Okay. So now we're gonna get the little whiskey thing. We're gonna put this on there. Look at that. Only look good. It ain't even started, y'all. It ain't even started. Y'all doing too much. Okay. So we're gonna mix it on in now. Put this on. Like it. Like it. Too fast. Y'all did not just see that. I didn't do it. Alright. So now we're finna chop bananas. So I'm just gonna slice them. I'm gonna try to separate them so it's three and three so we can keep the pies even. And yeah, so I watch your slice. Watch, they're gonna be sliced. So we kinda skipped a step on you guys. Um, I was supposed to show y'all to slice bananas, but <laughs> I went straight into it. So blah, we have all these banana pies. So I used almond milk and I just found out that using almond milk doesn't work out very well. It makes it very, 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 very watery. So we ended up spreading it between even more pie trays. Thank gosh I had more pie trays. And then we turned around and made some ice cream. So I had some Jello Pop things and I made some ice cream. And then I put some in some little containers and made some more ice cream. So yeah, let's check on this food though. Let's get some. Oh, hers is done. Look at that. And mine is still working. But hers is done. Ooh, don't that look good? I know y'all jealous. Okay, so y'all can see it when I pull them out. See ya. All right, y'all. Taste test time. Woo, hot. Mm. Let's look at that piece. Super hot. Super Ooh, hot. You see all that cheese and meat in it? Super hot. Okay, I gotta, I gotta break this in half. It's super hot. It's right out the pan. It's right out the box, babes. Ooh, look, they got cheese meat and everything. Verdict. Yeah, see, I'm not gang, so I ain't gonna just pop this in my mouth. I gotta blow. It's okay. We all can do it. We wanna taste it. I value us know the roots, real. Though. We wanna know the real taste. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Ooh. Yup. Yeah. Nice cornbread. Mmm, Hog head. Mm. Macaroni and cheese. Tan it up. So good. Alright guys. Look at Mom, that. Look at that. Cheese. It is Mom. all done. My daughter is yelling. She's so rude. It is Mom. all done. I'm going to come here. Look at cheesy goodness. Oh. It is good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Click, yes. click, click that ringing bell button so you don't miss another one of my videos. All that she said. Mm -hmm. Everything. <laughs> See y'all next time.